Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Several people were indicted this week in convenience store robbery cases in Pike County. According to court documents, a Pike grand jury indicted 53-year-old James Tylenol Anderson of Belfry in the November 23rd robbery of the Phelps Double Quick. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said Anderson had previously been convicted in a robbery case in Pike County. He allegedly got away with an undisclosed amount of cash and cigarettes in the Phelps Double Quick incident. He had been previously convicted in 2011 of robbing the McDonald's and the Wendy's in the South Williamson area, received a 10-year prison sentence, and went to prison, but had already been released because of good time credits and things that are now being awarded to inmates. And so on a 10-year sentence, he served about six or seven years, returned to the street, and very quickly committed another robbery. James Anderson is facing charges of first-degree robbery, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and being a persistent felony offender in the second degree. He could face up to life in prison with this latest case, coupled with his previous conviction. In a separate indictment, the grand jury indicted 26-year-old Dalton C. Johnson and 28-year-old Justin Smith, both of Pike County, in a November 16th robbery of the Chloe Double Quick at Shelbyena. The two allegedly brandished weapons to steal money and lottery tickets. When they tried to cash the lottery tickets, Bartley said, that ultimately led police to the two men. We know from the robbery that only two people were involved in the robbery. So they began to investigate more and Trooper Martin just did some excellent work in this case. He finally located Justin Smith, Dalton Johnson, and actually located then some of the cigarettes and I think possibly some of the other evidence or some of the things that were taken. I think maybe a double quick bag, for instance, was located. So he's built a very strong case by working backwards from the evidence that he got from the stolen lottery tickets. Both Johnson and Smith face a first-degree robbery charge punishable by up to 20 years in prison. Both of the men, along with 24-year-old Kaylee Dameron, were also indicted on an unlawful access to a computer charge in relation to the stolen lottery tickets. They could face an additional 10 years in prison on that charge alone. Of the three men named in the separate robbery indictments, only James Anderson is in custody in Pike County. Reporting in Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.